everybody it's Diana with stampingwithdie.com welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Teach Me Tuesdays episode 193 and I'm going to revisit an, uh, an old um, technique um, but I'm going to be doing some new things that I'm I'm trying with it to see how how it works and this is using the Stampin' Blends and 91% rubbing alcohol and it is super fun um, so I, I'm just going to re re revisit that so um, if you are new to my channel welcome if you've been here before welcome back my name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley Arizona so I'm so glad that you're joining me today um, if there's ever anything that you want me to show just just reach out to me and let me know um, I always love taking requests because sometimes I I'm like, well, what should I show? Or, you know, I, I get um, a little stumped sometimes. So, um, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna turn my camera. Um, so close your eyes just for a minute while I get adjusted. Now, don't forget if you are watching me, if you are watching um, live with me, I'm off to the side in the chat. So if you have any questions, just put it in there and um, I can answer you. Otherwise, if you're watching the replay, just put it in the comments below. But if you are watching live, October 9th to the 11th is free shipping. So as long as you're ordering 75 before tax and shipping in my store, I'm in the United States, you can get free shipping. Now, personally, we have a starter kit going on, and I've had several of you take advantage of this instead. So you're getting the starter kit. It already has free shipping, and so you get a much better value. And then they're placing a second order from them themselves because now you know they're a demonstrator so they're getting commission plus free shipping so it is a win-win so I would love to um, answer any questions in regards to that this is my October hostess code you'll pro just don't forget to use that so I can do the goodies and the guts I'm just going over this stuff quick also I have the save the date for my virtual spring social February 24th so I will be getting out a save the date email but please put that on your calendar okay so let me straighten myself a little bit so this is just some grid paper now the um, the alcohol needs to be 91 percent alcohol and it's just like what you use um, you know when you cut yourself or whatever but it has to be that 91 percent now what I did was I put it in a little um, bottle it's just those little Amazon bottles that I put the glue in just because it's a little easier um, to work with okay so I'm gonna recap what I showed I don't know maybe it was a year ago I did this technique but um, I was messing around with it the other day using different papers and I got some really fun effects. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to recap recap that. Now, there's several ways you can do this. So I've got a couple um, straws. I also have the old um, oh, spritzer or whatever. I wish we got this back. Um, I have our Stampin' Blends. And then I have all the, all the alcohol. And then I just picked a stamp set. I love this one. I need to do something with this because it's got a lot of lines. So I can use this to kind of move the alcohol around. And I apologize. I can hear Winston barking in the background. All right. So we're just going to take our blends. And I'm just going to make some scribbles. So this is going to kind of recap how I did it before. But you might not have seen this. So it's always a good refresher. All right, so that was dark Tahitian. I'm going to put a little, what is this, dark orchid. Now, I find you do have to pick some of the darker colors that you might not normally use for coloring just because it gets diluted, right? This is dark poppy. I might have to close the house door. And I'm kind of spacing them out a little bit. This is dark lemon lime. So Jeff went to the post office to get the goodies and the guts for September in the mail. So he might be coming in. That might be what the dog's barking about. All right. So I just scribbled some 
of the Stampin' Blends around. This is just regular vellum that I'm using. You do have to use a paper that is um, not porous. Is that what would it be if it would soak stuff in? It has to kind of have a film on it, so the vellum is perfect. If you pick, and I already tossed in the garbage, if you pick a paper that's just paper, right, that the ink can soak into, it won't work. So I just wanted to show you, like, if you try it with, you know, even though this has that foil kind of look to it, it's still paper, so it just sucks that um, color in. So it really doesn't give you the look, you know, that you're going for. All right, so this is just regular vellum. And I'm just going to take the 91% and I'm going to put a couple little drops around. Now you can use a um, straw to blow the colors around. You can use, if you have this, to, to blow the colors around too. Now this I find I have a little bit more control than I do if I use the straw. Plus I'm way up high. This is kind of potent alcohol so you want to make sure you have a well ventilated but anyway so this works super super good as well and it takes hardly any time at all to dry because it's set alcohol right all right so this was with the with the um, spritzer or a um, straw all right but what I've also found is works really good too is the stamp. So that's why I picked in, I picked this stamp. So it has like all the little lines that's going to catch that alcohol. Now I also have my um, Stampin' Mist off to the side on my um, what you call it my cleaning <laughs> pad so that I can clean my stamp when I'm done because I don't want to leave this with the alcohol on it, right? Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to squirt some alcohol around. And instead of using the blow, this time I'm going to take the stamp. And I'm going to use the stamp instead to move that color around. So this gives you a little different look. And it, depending on what stamp you use, it can also put a little pattern. So we'll let this dry. So I have a little fan by my desk, so hold on a second. I'll just put that by the fan. It doesn't take much time to dry. All right. But there you can see you've got two different looks, and it just depends on, you know, which colors you use. So you can tell I use quite a bit of red here because red kind of took it over. This gives you that um, kind of like a model D look. And there's the back side. So that is how I kind of originally showed you how to do it. So then I got thinking, well, we have other papers. We have other vellums. So I did it with this vellum. So this is the, I can't think what it's called, but it's got stripes, polka dots, and these leaves. So you can see those pretty leaves. So I did the same thing here. And it just gives it a different look to that paper. And I found if you do, you know, if you do things like this, sometimes you have to back it with white. So see how you can really see that now? And then you subtly see the leaves in there. So doesn't that look really pretty? And then same with this, right? If you back this with white, those colors really pop. Then if I'm just holding it over here, right? So you really kind of need that that white paper. All right, so that is regular vellum and then pattern vellum. So it just kind of gives you a different different look to it. Now, I most of the pieces I cut were six by six, and that way it gives me a lot of play room. Plus, I'm going to do something with these. So you want to make sure that you come back on Friday for my dyes shorts, and I'm going to show you um, things that I did with this stuff. Uh, I had planned to have those things done um, today, but I had food poisoning yesterday, so I was in bed most of the day. So things that I had planned to do didn't get done. So come back Friday for my dye shorts, and then I'll show you some things I did with them. Okay, so we also have in our catalog, we also have this paper. So let me show you these papers in here. So this is 
this specialty paper. So see, we've got all these specialty papers that have, um, okay, I'll wait till he closes the door. <laughs> all right, so we have um, pretty, pretty paper. And now I can't, oh, here it is. So this is the gold celebration. So it's gold on one side, silver on the other. And then here are those vellum basics that I just used. Um, I'm also going to be playing with, we have the um, silver foil paper. I have that. And I'm also going to play with the holographic. And we have some new foil from the mini catalog. So I just kind of pulled a bunch of stuff out to see how it would work. So this is that paper. So it has the gold on one side, silver on the other. So I'm going to try it with this one. So because this is the same kind of thing, right? This is almost, it's called paper, but to me, this is a window sheet. You know, this really, to me, seems more like a window sheet. All right, so I'm going to grab some red. And I'm pretty much sticking with the same colors, just so we can see the difference, like really compare to compare. If I picked a different color and then did it, it would be a little harder to, to compare, right? Because you'd be like, well, that did use this color and that use that color. All right, so these are the same colors. Tahitian doesn't show as much on there because it's pretty light. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing. Squirt, squirt, squirt. And sometimes I get a little carried away with that. We'll do this. We'll do the um, blow. And what's cool about this, it allows you to move that around. But because it's air, it also starts to dry that alcohol. Let's see how this looks. So it's just a, got to move that around. So that's not too bad. All right. So now over here, let me do the stamp just so we can compare. So we'll do the stamp on this side. So the stamp just kind of picks up that alcohol and then you just move it around. So let's see how this looks. Let me move it down here to dry it. It, was, it won't take too long because I was using that squirter this time. And like I said, it's 91% alcohol, so it dries pretty darn quick. All right, so here's this. So again, let me put a piece of white behind it. So there you can kind of see. This looks kind of cool, right, where I used a stamp. And in fact, you can kind of see some areas of this actual stamp lines. And then here is where I blew. Now, of course, if I was doing this like for real, for real, I would take a little bit more time, you know, and blend and add some more colors. But we're just playing for now just to kind of give you like an idea of some things you can do. Now, this one I did the other day and I used the... Um, it has polka dots it has curly cues and i can't remember the third one so this looks really cool doesn't this look really really like a party is happening so it's basically the same colors i just did them like smaller little spots but um but you could see that that really looks kind of cute and you can see that silver through there and then if we flip it over you see the gold so it's pretty pretty cool all right so there's those two all right, so then I was playing. It's always like, and then I was doing this, and then I was doing that. All right, so then I got out. Now, this is in the mini catalog, so it has um, red and green. So I am going to play with this. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do some, some scribbles. Again, you want to pick paper that is coated so that the um, the ink doesn't soak in. Squeak, squeak. Now I'm not going to do green because this is already green. And Tahitian, I don't think Tahitian will show super good on there, so I'm not going to do Tahitian. All right, so we'll do the same thing. So I'll blow with one side, and then I'll use the stamp for the other side. All right, so again, squish some color on there and then squeeze so it just moves that color 
every which way. So if you have one of these squishers. But what I liked about how this turned out was as that air hits the foil, look what it's doing. It's almost like a science project. It's changing something about, it's almost like the, the alcohol is having a reaction as it dries to the foil. All right, so let me do this with the stamp. That moves that around a little bit better. But see what I mean by you get this almost like oxidation. Would that be a word? <laughs> like I'm um, Mr. Science. All right, so let me hold this down for another fan. As that dries, it just it oxidizes or whatever on that. Um, I'll just blow it with this so you can see it change. So see how it kind of changes that paper. And I didn't do tons, tons of color on here. And it actually looks kind of gross right now. But all right. So then what I did, so I took it and then I ran it through the quatrefoil tile. And this is what it looks like. So see, I wonder if the camera will pick up. It's kind of hard to see. So see, when I angle it like that, you can see the blues and the reds and the oxidation happening in there. So it looks like an, an old ceiling tile. But isn't that cool? So, you know, so just to show you the difference between, now of course I would have more color and play around, but we're just going quick. But look how, how cool that is if you run it through that file folder. All right. So then, now I haven't played with this one, but I thought, you know what, if I pick a darker, so this might not even work. So like I said, this one is by the seat of my pants because I have not tested this one. So I'm gonna take the black because this is red. So you have to kind of pick dark colors or it's not gonna show. So this might be too dark, but I'm just gonna pick some black. And squirt, squirt. And usually I'm not a big, big fan personally. I get um, aura migraines when things are like really, really shiny like that. So I just try not to look at it too much. All right, so I'm doing the same thing with the stamp because I find I have a little bit more control than with the blower. So I'm just stamping on here. And moving that black around. And moving that alcohol around. So can you see it changing? So let me get my, I'm going to wash my stamp. Hold on a minute. So I'm getting a little bit of that on there, but that's okay. So I'm going to clean it. All right. So let me use my blower just to dry this a little more. But can you see how it totally oxidized up that? It takes the shine kind of away, so it's not as bad on my eyeballs, for one thing. But see what it did? Now, of course, I would cut this. I would do something with it. So like I said, make sure you come back Friday because I'm actually going to do some things with these. But I loved how <clears throat> that reacted to that. I was not expecting that to happen. But I love how how it did that so it just totally changes that all right so then but there's more okay so then we also have the um whatchamacallit the hiero the, the oh my gosh diana hieroglyphics or whatever it's not hieroglyphics i i said what it was oh my gosh it goes with the the um astronaut so let's do this one. So we're doing some blues. Let's bring some greens in. And let's bring a darker green. Halographic. I think that's what it is. 
<laughs> All right, so I had just splattery crazy like put that on there, and I'm going to use my stamp again just because it moves the color around a little bit more. All right. We'll see how this works. So it has that high row, whatever, on, on the background. Okay. So I use my air. I don't want to move the color around too much. But again, so see how as this dries, that foil oxidizes. That's the only word I can think of it because that's what it reminds me of, right? That metal, you know, oxidizes or you get, um, oh, we have hard water, so we get like this thing. But look how cool this is on there. So that looks super, super cool. All right. So then I did one with some different colors. I did... Tahitian. I did. What is this one? Orchid. And I like the green in there because it almost looks like um, like a silver patina. So I have the green, but when the blues and the green meets, it looks like a, like a silver, turquoisey, patina. And you can tell I've been using this one a lot for flicking because I have totally wrecked that big, big side. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing. And then move it around. And you want a well-ventilated area. So I have a fan going, my air conditioner is going, just because it's that alcohol. And it won't take too long to dry, so I'll just use my squisher to let it dry. And then we can see that, see this is happening? As that dries, that oxidation happens. It just is so cool. Dry, dry, dry. But look how cool that is. See how, how neat it looks? And then I ran it through that same Quattro foil. No, I didn't. Didn't. Did I? Hang on a minute. I'm looking at it. Oh, this is a different file folder. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. This one was the distressed tile. So this one was the distressed tile. So I apologize. Mm -hmm. This one was the quatrefoil. And then this one was the distressed. But look how cool this is. I mean, it looks neat like this, but when you run it through that folder, it just looks so, so neat. So anyways, but Jeff thought it was pretty cool too. So see, it's kind of like, like if you rub really, really hard, so see, you might be able to rub some of that off. So I don't think I would be rubbing super hard on it. And that's why I think I like to do this, because then if it does rub off a little bit, you don't notice it as much than if it's than if it's plain. All right, so I think I used all the pieces. So here's that one I did yesterday, that bigger one, with that holographic. But um, so anyway, so let me say, see you later, alligator. So what do you think? Isn't that cool? Oh, and when it's, I was just messing around, and I have scrap everywhere, and I'm like, oh, let me just try some foil, you know, because that, you, you just want that, um, the paper that has, like, a coating on it, right, so that that can't soak in, but, so I was just going through the cupboard, and I'm like, oh, is this current? So I'm pretty sure I used stuff, everything that is current, um, and if you aren't sure, if you're looking for something in the store, all you have to do is go to the little um, the um, magnifying glass and then just type in. So like, 
say you're looking for foil. So just type in foil and then everything that has foil in there will come up. And then you know that's current. Because we have things that are online exclusives only. We have some things that have carried over from a catalog that aren't in print. We still sell it, but it's not in a catalog anywhere. So by doing that, you might find something that you didn't think was available anymore. So, um, so make sure you do that. But like I said, make sure you come back Friday, 3 o'clock, Arizona time, same time, same channel. And I will um, show you what I did with these papers um, because it is super, super neat. So make sure you give it a try. Make sure you um, let me know what you do with it. Um, the alcohol I got on Amazon, but I think you can get it at Costco as well. We didn't have a Costco before, but now we do. But I think I saw it at Costco. You just want to make sure it's a 91%. Um, regular that you get like a, the grocery store or something I think is like 70% or something and it's not strong enough so you have to make sure you have 91% um, or more um, and I just use the squirter um, to dry or my fan I don't think I would use my heat tool just because it's hot right and I don't know if that would do anything to al alcohol you know because it is alcohol right it's it's flammable so I just make sure I use cold things, just cold air. All right, so I'm going to stop blabbing, and um, I will see you Friday. And have a great night, and um, let me know if you try this out. All right, thanks so much. Oh, don't forget, um, shipping ends tomorrow, the 11th. If you need me to place your order, make sure um, you get it to me quickly um, so that the computer doesn't get busy and um, I can do that. Also, if you're ordering less than 150 before tax and shipping, and you're not in one of my stamp clubs because you have your own code, um, make sure you use the hostess code, my October hostess code, um, to place your order. If you're ordering over 150, don't use my code because then you'll be getting your own hostess benefits. That being said, um, I would love to have you join my team and get an even better value. And um, make sure you holler at me. I would like um, to chat with you about that. Also, today is the last day to sign up for my Taco Fiesta class. So if you are a member of my team, you can do um, most of my classes in the mail um, at a discount. So keep that in mind as well. All right, so that was a lot of um, stuff right there at the end to go over. And uh, I will see you Friday. So have a good night. Bye for now.